Lovely sunny day. Just enjoying a bit of nature. Didn't end up getting any shopping from the shop because there was a queue of about 20 people queuing around the car park. Um, only letting a couple of people in the shop at a time and I thought, well, ah, fuck that. They don't do that over near my way, so. I got to see uh, some family members. I'm not gonna say who they are and who was out and who was about, for obvious reasons. Um, because this lockdown is supposed to be, uh, everyone's supposed to be listening to instructions. But the real instructions came in that council letter. That's what they was priming us for. Um, yeah, apparently we've got to get a doctor's letter um, explaining our health now to the council to get our rent paid. More corruption. Bearing in mind the doctors are shut, the council offices are shut. All that information has to be in in a month. This month, um, council tax £28 has to be paid by the 15th of April. Bearing in mind we get our benefits every two weeks. So you've got to pay that one first and then by the 1st of May you have to pay another 28 quid so that's in a month then you've got to pay 60 pounds worth of your food money to get a doctor's letter to pay your rent now this ain't something i want to live under anymore so um i've come through the back way today because i've just taken a photo of the uh new house that the council want me to be moving into which i'll post online later um because you know the council are the ones that are abusing the investigatory powers act which that's pretty self-explanatory if you read the codes of use it's on the government's own website to section, imprison, or kill those that are deemed a threat to the financial interests of the UK. So if you speak out against their corruption, then they target you. So if the council has pulled out of funding a credit, yeah, a credit agency, credit and lending agency and my landlords have just magically swooped in and bought the company that the council have been paying for does that not link to a kickback between the landlords and the councils who both stress us out and keep us in debt so there you go so I'd rather take my chances in another country now. So I'm going to get this court case out of the way. Um, obviously that's designed to keep me here as well. So uh, I'm going to have to get to it with the system. And there's only one way to do that. Without using violence. Which is what they're banking on. So I'm just sitting here enjoying a bit of nature, letting all the information come to me while I'm out here meditating. Enjoying a bit of the sunshine. Because that's how things are done.
So I've got to prove my health to get my rent paid. But the council gave me the house as a disabled person, so they have all my medical stuff already. So why are they forcing me to pay to prove it again? Dirty and corrupt. Doctors are, aren't getting much business at the moment because the doctors are shut, so the council's giving the doctors finances through us. Dirty, corrupt system. The Royal Society of Doctors is part of it. I'm so annoyed about it, as you can tell. But uh, there you go. Not for much longer. Going to set the children and the grandchildren free of this nonsense for the future. Can hear the children playing happily somewhere nearby, and I'm out in the middle of nowhere, all surrounded by fields, so they must be walking about. Yeah, what with uh, everyone being at home, all the dodgy neighbours that report on you can't sort of ever smoke at home. Because obviously they're uh, telling me how I should be changing my lifestyle and that I'm antisocial. Fucking out of order it is. And I'm sick of it. So... Old Dirty Lizzie from London, who sits in a palace, is, um, how can you put it? She wants a Punch and Judy show in her court so she can pass judgment authorised by Rome. That's the only power she has, authorised by Rome. So I hope the Pope is getting brown knickers now in his dress because it's about to get a far whole lot worse before it comes to this country properly. Nature's lovely, isn't it? Sitting listening to the pheasants in the field and the birds doing their thing in spring. Lovely. Can't see any people dying around me, don't. 